Welcome to the Fact Check, guys. Thank you so much for listening to us. We really appreciate it. This is a not a PG version of the GR Ride Share podcast. So basically what this is, is us going back and looking up on the computer. What is fact, according to Google, of course, and what is not fact. So we don't have a lot of time during the podcast to look that stuff up, but that's what this is about. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and then our website, grrideshareadventures.com. You can find all our content there, the podcast, videos, links to products that we use in our rideshare business, and so much more. So again, thanks for listen, listening. Please subscribe on whatever podcast app you use for the podcast and rate, review, subscribe, all that fun stuff. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a great day. And then take a look at Travis. We've got, every, we've got your ride across town. See? Oh, you, amazing. He fact-checked. Kevin just fact checked you, bro. Sure did. Mm. Shut down. Put on, get your mic on there. I started recording. I was doing it while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was gonna try to tell you like, mm mm. The fact checker was just checked. Get served, sir. We're recording, Kev, so you can put your mic up if you want. CC. You don't have to plug in if you don't want to. Not up, Kevin. On, like talking it, you dill hole. It is on. You're professional. You're more professional and make money on your streams, and you still didn't put the mic in front of your mouth. I'm going to teach you. Yeah, I am I want you to teach me. I'm going to. But I'm like, hey, put the mic up, and he literally put it up above Raised his head. Raised it up. So this is our fact-checking <laughs> episode. Um, this is sometimes cannot be PG, just, just for your warning. Um, yeah. Yep, me. see? That was mm-hmm. sexy. Not PG. I've been holding that in for a while. Don't fart. <laughs> Too late. All right. What's the first thing up? Can uh, you rent a car? Can you rent a car as a serviceman despite your age. Serviceman. You sound like you're from the 20s. That's service. what you said. I wrote down Did verbatim. I say serviceman? Service person? Member of the armed forces? I think, I think that's what I said. I don't know. All right, what's the answer? I don't have it yet. I was looking up the next one. All right. Somebody Kev, you got a you got a keyboard. I can't do it on a phone. It's too too much of a pain in the butt. Uh the next one was does eating help you stay awake? All right, let's go to that one if you got it up. There are apparently nine foods that will help you stay awake. See, see, I see a look. She got the itis. Do you not know what itis is? Itis? When you eat too much and you get sleepy, it's called itis. No, no, I, I'm talking about, like, candy. But still. Yeah. Like, they might pull over and get, like, some fast food. Like, you can no. make yourself more tired. No, do not do fast yeah. food. You will go lights out. I will, at That's least. itis. Itis. But everybody's not that smart. So, there are nine foods that will help keep you awake, apparently. Well, sugar and sweet is on there. Bacon. So. bacon? Cheese. Who just got Bacon. Bacon is everything. Sugar well, and go, sweet foods. You go to Burger King. Can I just, just get a half a pound of bacon? Just want some bacon. How much is that? 20 bucks? I don't care. <laughs> I need to stay away. Ham, tomatoes, caffeinated drinks. No shit, Sherlock. It doesn't work for me. Large, I drink them too much. Yeah. I drink so much uh, like Red Bull and Faygo yeah. that it has become me. So The only way that the only thing that works for me if I'm in a pinch is five hour energy because I don't use it's disgusting. Yeah. Large amounts of any liquids. I wonder why. Any greasy foods, spicy foods. I help That's you not, stay awake. That no. Can't be right. no, that can't be right. No. no, that doesn't keep you awake. If any, no, the just, food's not going to. The heartburn might. Yeah, if <laughs> I eat some steak and shake, it's lights out at three in the morning. Right. I've almost, I'm almost falling asleep in the middle of eating a. Look up something about. Does chewing keep you awake? Because I think that's what it is. That's what I meant to say. Like, does chewing. The act of chewing. First of all, if you're sleeping, stop driving. Well, I know, but when we've all been in a pinch, like Traverse City or Detroit, or Detroit, I keep um, granola bars and I keep um, nutri grain bars and stuff on my door, just in case. I do because you're like in an area that doesn't have food, and you're like, I gotta eat some food, just in case you just need like a little pick me up. Yeah. Study claims chewing gum can reduce daytime tiredness. Boom. Jason's right. How to stay awake without caffeine? Chew gum. 
That's the only response? Or you well, didn't click on I it? I mean, that's the first line. Drive down with all four windows and smoke a cigarette. <laughs> that's my tip. Well, that's going to keep me awake because I've never smoked in my life. So I'm going to hit them and be like, Wee! <laughs> Out of here. If you're not coughing up a lung. Right. Eat a nutritious snack. Drink, Drink water. water. Watch. Watch cute animals <laughs> online. Well, that's going to be counterintuitive if you're driving. Chew yeah. gum. I'd Look, say I'll I, just go with chew gum and that's it. I mean, I, I eat Jolly Ranchers. So I don't actually chew them. I suck on them. I believe I found the answer. Um this is as close to an answer as I can find. For the service or yes. the military? Um, in general, drivers must be at least 20 or 21 years of age to rent a car. There are some exceptions. In Michigan and New York, the minimum age to rent a car is 18 years as mandated by the states, but the surcharges tend to be even higher for drivers in the 18 to 20-year-old age brackets. But it doesn't necessarily say anything about if it's military. So that's not true because if you go try to rent a car and you're under 25, they're not going to rent to you. It might be because it might, I think you can, but they might have the right to refusal just because well, of the liability. If they own their own business, they can say whatever they want. Right. Um, but if it's like hurts at the airport or something like that, that's where it was. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Their deposit has to be crazy. <laughs> Well, I think what a lot of the issue is in Michigan is the Michigan no fault, the stupid insurance that we have here. And I think everyone's paranoid about the right. Michigan no fault. And so, I mean, a lot of the companies like here's another one where it says what car rentals allow under 25. It says the picture actually isn't as bleak as it was a few years ago when many of big car rental companies didn't allow anyone under 25 to rent ages 20. Uh, drivers ages 21 to 24 can now rent at most locations operated by okay. Advantage, Avis, Budget, Dollar, Enterprise, Hertz, National, Sixth, and Thrifty. I feel like they pick 25 because that's when your insurance goes down as a person. So when you're when you're turned 25 years old, that's when your rates start decreasing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, as I said, it's a it's a lower liability. Yeah, yeah, but it, once again, it doesn't say anything about if it's if it had if you can. Under the age of blah, 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 because of military yeah. rights. I, yeah. I don't think it matters if it's military. Hey, the guy could have been blowing smoke up my ass. I don't know. Chances are. He was. Yeah. He seemed like, I mean, I'm not disrespecting his service because I do appreciate that. He seemed like kind of a douche. I'm He's not going to lie. Traverse City, so. Right. He was, he was one of those, he was a typical millennial that said, oh, I have to do all this work and the guys that I work with uh, don't, don't do their whatever what they're supposed to do what i didn't know is like everyone asks about the military what do you do it's just like a job he starts at seven in the mo this is what i didn't know he starts at seven in the morning he gets off at 3 30 and he goes home he's just active duty so every, i always say oh you're on leave um, that must be nice he's like it's not like drill sergeants like it shows on the the thing it's like a regular job he he transported parts that's what his job was hmm. so interesting yeah the next uh, fact check was tired driving. Is it worse than drunk driving? He's on Mythbusters. Mythbusters did cover it. And um, there was a recent study conducted by the AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety that found that drowsy drivers are responsible for one in six of fat fatal car accidents. <laughs> but is getting behind the wheel without shut eye more dangerous than driving after a couple of drinks? So... Uh, the Mythbusters stayed awake for 30 straight hours to oh, find out. That sounds miserable. <laughs> yeah. They first took driving tests on two different courses while they were sober and well-rested to establish a baseline. The first course was meant to mimic city traffic with snaking turns, stoplights, and parallel parking. The second, more monotonous course included making 25 laps around a track to evaluate the driver's attention spans. Although both situations, downing a couple shots of downing a couple shots and staying up all night clearly impaired Tori and Carrie's driving skills, causing them to make mistakes and veer out of their lanes. The lack of sleep had more dangerous effects. Compared with cruising around while tipsy, sleep deprivation caused Tori to drive ten times worse. Sleepy Carrie's driving was three times more erratic. Wow. That's interesting. That makes sense, man. 
I'm surprised they couldn't push through with the adrenaline knowing that they're on doing a show. You know what I mean? Like, even if you're up for 30 hours, you'd be like, okay, I can do this. If your eyes get heavy mm-hmm. like that, it's I know. so hard. It's- and that's why these don't work. When my eyes get heavy, the only thing that works is five hour energy. It'll, like, literally make my eyes go like this. <laughs> it makes me start tweaking. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you tweaking. <laughs> The next, uh, you know, I'm already hooked. Next one we were going to fact check that Kevin already did was the availability of Lyft it's statewide. Is it true with Uber too? No, no, oh, no, 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 not at all. Uber is uh, not as lax as uh, Lyft is. Sure. Lyft wa- like Uber wants to do different types of service. Meanwhile, Lyft wants to expand their service. I think it's a great idea. I think that's a better idea. I do for too. Sure. Um, unfortunately, like like I said, I was three and a half hours north in a really Amish poor community, and it was and it was able to work. There's going to be no drivers up there. That's the only problem. They yeah. they can claim they're statewide, but if there's no drivers, it really doesn't mean anything. It's true. So. Mm-hmm. Like if you compare the the map of Grand, the Grand Rapids coverage of between Uber and Lyft, Lyft reaches all the way up to Reed City. Yeah, I saw that. And I believe Uber does Rockford, right? Rockford, uh, Sparta, and uh, I don't think it even reaches Howard City. Yeah, I don't think it reaches Sand Cedar. Lake. You get a little bit of Greenville. I think that's as far as it goes. Mm. But yeah. Hashtag deleted Uber. Yep. And uh, we already found out when Uber started. Thanks, Kevin. 2009, right? Yep. March of 2009. When did Lyft start? June 2012, I believe. They were that far behind Uber? Yeah. I think so. Hmm. What well, else? That's all I have. That's all you have? We had like an interview today, so I can't yeah, really that's check true. our interview guests. That's I'm true. Being, they could be lying. We wouldn't know. Uh, Although I think I'd be able to tell if Cece was lying because her face gives everything away. Hey, I got the dude on camera with the hundred dollars. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> that's so awesome. All right, end it there. <laughs>